So we have the German, American, and now British forces. And according to the roadmap, we will soon be getting the Polish and Finnish also. But what about a more unconventional force? Team 17 does own the rights to the classic strategy franchise, Worms. Uh-oh! Incoming! Take cover! Missed! The crossover I never knew I wanted. Presenting the Wiggle Warfare DLC. What is up everybody and welcome to the Milsim Tactical Shooter and Historic Gaming Channel. We're trying to hit 10,000 subscribers before years in, so do me a favor, hit that subscribe button before I break the bad news. If we do get to 10,000 subscribers before years in, I am going to give away a Steam key to one of my lucky viewers every week for a year straight. No, I kid, I kid. I already do that. I've been doing that for several years now. We've actually gone a couple weeks with no interest. Entries. Well, granted, I've been slacking, super busy, IRL, but definitely get in on that giveaway. All you gotta do is comment and be a part of the Discord, and you may just have a 100% chance of winning this week. Alright, so jumping right into this interesting video, I suppose we're gonna start with the bad news. Now, I was just on ArtStation browsing, and I was looking at Danny Art's page. He's a technical artist at Black Matter, and I stumbled upon this post he made a week ago, and I was just kind of scanning through it and to me it looked real it even had a price at $17 or 17 pounds it had an image of the steam storefront and everything but as I began to read I discovered that this is what they were calling fan art a fictional crossover so apparently at Black Matter, or maybe it's Team 17 as a whole, they have a challenge every year. And this year the challenge was, as it is every year, to complete a full fan art briefing within 12 hours on March 31st. And apparently over a period of a single all-nighter, Danny completed his fully fictional fan art briefing just before the deadline. But I promise, if you were to stumble upon this post yourself, you may just think it's real like I did. I'll have links down in the pinned comment so you can check it out for yourself. And right at the beginning of this post it reads, Hey everyone, welcome to this week's developer briefing where we discuss our plans moving forward as well as a detailed look at the brand new Worms Let Loose that will be released today at 17 o'clock Greenwich time. Now all of this sharing has an amazing opportunity to give Hell Let Loose the ultimate boost when it comes to the future. With access to a much larger family of games, it's to be expected to share one another. The first decision we have made will involve shifting the focus around to the creation of this brand new gameplay and content DLC, with the plan to create similarly styled content later on, including more unique forces, maps, weapons, games, game features, vehicles, and so much more directly related to other games in the Team 17 family. So, I don't know, maybe this is real, and I really hope it is, cause this is pretty cool. As we dive more into this, you'll see it's much more than just a skin and voice pack. For long, many have requested that a new faction needed to be added to the game to balance out the forces currently available. This faction needed to be strong, and needed to be able to wiggle its way into the enemy base without getting noticed. Many also requested this faction to be of meaning and that needed to be widely known, such as the Japanese forces, the Anzac forces, or even the French. After long deliberation, the decision has been made to add the widely known Wormtruppen. Not only are all previously made maps and gameplay types available in this DLC, we also added Worm of the Fort mode and Sudden Death to the gameplay roster to choose from. In Worm of the Fort mode, you as a team need to defend a certain strong point without leaving the safe boundaries. If your team succeeds in standing strong against the incoming waves of enemies, then the match is won. For the sudden death mode, all polar caps have started to melt. This results in a rise of the water level. The water level will rise during the match. 
So be quick to eliminate the other faction to be able to call in the Wovercraft for safe extraction. While playing these amazing game modes, you and your team will have access to a large range of building utilities, such as the classic girders to easily cross rivers, and the amazingly stiff but flexible rope swings to surprisingly always get you out of a wiggly situation. Reviving and resurrecting like in the original Worms games is also available in the DLC. When you are a fallen one on the battlefield, you will turn into the classic tombstone. Your fellow teammates have a short amount of time to deploy a lightning strike to resurrect you and any fallen ones around you to continue fighting the battle. Crazy Loot Mode is also added in the Wiggle Warfare DLC. In this mode, you only have access to one random weapon with one full clip of ammo, machine guns excluded, and one spade. You have to either smash one of the limited amounts of crates lying around on the battlefield to get a small additional amount of ammo, or loot remaining ammo from weapons left behind by killed enemies. The last remaining squad wins. Now this also includes the elimination of your own faction squad. And now about characters and customizations, they say, We've often thought about how we could deepen the character customization around the currently available roles in the game. We know that many are keen for a push for authenticity, but some of the developers are artists by heart and love to sometimes just go bananas and wiggle their way into something creative rather than authentic. The Wiggle Warfare DLC will contain many customization options, this to really make you feel like you are part of the battle. To unlock these cosmetics, lootable crates have been placed on the historically accurate maps. To open these crates, simply break them with the spade. Any crate contain a large variety of dance emotes, hats, gear, drinkable speed boosters in a handy can, vehicle upgrades, and a large range of weapons and helmet attachments. Now how could they be going so in depth about this and it be just a little fictional project? Alright, now going into the weapons and vehicles. This is where it gets interesting. The weapons and vehicles are the heart and soul of Hell Let Loose. So for today's DLC, we could not leave out the weapon and vehicle roster for the infamous Worm Troop. You as a team will have access to the following weapons. Airstrike, Armageddon, Bunker Buster, Concrete Donkey, Dynamite, Flamethrower, Girder, Golden Bazooka, Golden Spoon, Grenade Launcher, Holy Hand Grenade, <laughs> Carabiner, Lightning Strike, Mad Cows, Mines, Petrol Bomb, The Priceless Ming Vase, A Prod, Rope Swing, Shotgun, Salt Mine Deployable, Sanchez, Skip Rope, The Sleuth Lerpa Gun, Sniper Rifle, Super Banana Bomb, Super Sheep, Team Weapon, The Villain Cats, and Water Pistol. Note, Flamethrower, Petrol Bomb, and Shotgun might not be available on console at launch. Will be added in future updates. Again, why would they say- why would they add that to a, a fictional post? Crush enemies while they try to come ashore in the landing boats with a concrete donkey. Give final rights to the ones with your holy hand grenade. Banish the salty ones into the salt mine deployable. Burn your enemies to crisp with the flamethrower. Or send out the villain cats to scratch the eyes out of the ones that were coming for you and your teammates. Everything is possible. Driving like a maniac in a truck while wearing an orange helmet. Or squishing enemy troops while standing in the open hatch of a worm tiger tank. Land only battles are also in the past as well. The worm troopin will have access to the classic worms jetpacks. Have no fear, jetpack squad is here. You and your team will also have access to the following vehicle. The jetpack, panther, whatever the hell that is, trucks, Wolvercraft, Worm Kugel Panzer, Worm Simple Take, Worm Tiger, and the WV2, or modified KV2. Worm Troopin' vehicles perform much like the non Worm Troopin' vehicles, each with their own benefits and drawbacks. Will your tank column be led into Purple Lane with or without additional boosters? Or will you protect your vehicle squad by calling in the jetpack crew for th the next 30 minutes? The choice is yours. As a bonus, the Worm Troopin' vehicle squads have the ability to slightly reposition any vehicle to make gameplay a smoother experience. 
<laughs> I hope this is real, man. You're literally going to be able to modify not only weapons, but the vehicles too. Of course, if it's real. Now, they went as far as to price this, saying, Unlock access to join the worm trooping and take to the front lines with an array of unique characters, helmets, and uniforms. Roll up your non-existing sleeves and get stuck into the thick of it with the worm troop. Reach for the sky with jetpacks or take to the worm tiger tank and show who's boss. This all for a whopping low price of 17 pounds, roughly $17. Now here's a list that comes with everything in the Wiggle Warfare DLC. The Worm Troop and Forces, of course, that will have all original 11 classes, including 17 variations per roll. Now what I'm most excited about, the Jetpack Crew. Dominate the skies with a jetpack on your back. Almost equally as cool, the new game modes. Worm of the Fort, Sudden Death, Crazy Loot. Crazy Loot sounds pretty cool. It's basically a six-man squad battle royale, if you think about it. Amazing Gear, a large variety of weapons, vehicles, and deployables that will knock your enemy's socks off. Exclusive Items, Bloodstained Orange Helmet, a Choo-Choo Horn for Warm Troopin' Trucks, and a Chef's Hat Cosmetic wearable for Variety Wednesdays, whatever that is. Loot box crates. 17 crates per map, randomized with a large range of unlockables. Now that's cool. Actually physically finding the box in the game world and earning a permanent unlockable. Fans of the channel know I'm not one for progression, but that kind of thing I think is much cooler than the standard way of progressing. A seasoned veteran game mode to be announced. Game mode that will be released during seasonals. Interesting. A legendary Flix fix, apparently a cozy winter coat to keep you safe and warm in a variety of situations. Now if any fans of worms are watching this, because I never really got into worm, please let me know details about any of this stuff. I may not be a fan of worms, I could just never get into turn-based games. But this seems really cool. Now, like I said, if this is real, there's already three reviews for it stating, Worms Let Loose, Wiggle Warfare DLC is a complex interplay of FPS action and real-time tactical planning on land and in the air with the all-new force. It was a challenging bridge to cross, but the developers honestly do listen to my feedback and are actually always watching my vids. Duo Espatio, and he's given it a 9 out of 10. With a deep vehicle roster and huge availability of trucks and mini maps, this DLC perfectly captures the devastation of war. Well, after I drove in a truck, that is. There are few games in the genre that bring so much to the blood soaked table and floor and walls. So much blood everywhere. And that's Sergeant Private Sound Plank giving it a 4 out of 5. And Raz Chorus simply states the best DLC for years. I'll go and hug my dog now. 99%. Anyway. Join in hands, let us pray. Lord, let this be real. Now, I know it's not the Japanese with shotguns and flamethrowers, tunnel rats, samurai swords, booby traps, and bonsai charges, and of course, kamikaze off-map commander call-ins. But hey, this just might be the next best thing. Again, I'm going to have a link down in the pinned comment. Check it out. This was posted last week. It only has 96 views and 4 likes. Is this just art with someone spending way too much time to flesh it out with a backstory? <laughs> I hope this is real, man. Let me know what you think down in the comments. I want to get my hands on that wiggly little jetpack and all the customization they're talking about. <laughs> Sounds crazy. Anyway, I want to thank everybody for watching. You know, I can't leave without giving a special special shout out to my inspiration, my homies, my channel members, the Millsimp Minions. Consider joining the ranks. All three tiers of membership get double the entry in every week's Steam Key giveaway. As little as 99 cents a month could help you win four times. Yeah, there's four weeks in a month. 25 cents could help you win a $40 game like Beyond the Wire. And you get to help me out, support the channel. If you haven't done it yet, hit that subscribe button. We're barreling towards 10,000 subscribers. Let's get this niche genre into the mainstream the future of mill sims and tax shooters keeps getting brighter and brighter and i'm just happy to be here for the ride i'll see you boys on the next one y'all be good to each other oh dear just you wait